Hey guys, Mug here. Uh, just a quick video to accompany some of the bevel and emboss and layer style videos that we've got going on with this course. <clears throat> I have a uh, background here just uh, with a texture on it. This is a concrete background. It's 2,000 pixels tall, 3,000 pixels wide. And I'm just going to show you quickly how to use our type mask tool and then a real brief kind of tutorial on your bevel and emboss options for a layer style. You'll see here that when I clicked and drag the text box here when I had my type mask tool selected it changes my screen to pink which is called quick mask mode and what it does is it allows us to make a selection in a specific shape and so I'm gonna type something out here see if it'll fit alright so I'm just gonna type out concrete and you'll see at the top of my screen uh, I have my font size set to 500 points. The largest you're going to see on your drop down menu is 72, but you can type in an amount larger than that depending on what you need for your particular uh, design. So I'm typing in concrete, 500 points. Um, this is in a bold font here. You can choose something uh, of your own liking. And once you're happy with what the letters look like and the font size and all that good stuff, click on this checkbox up here at the top of your screen. And you'll see that it's taken your letters and your paragraph and your, and your text box and has turned it into a selection. And then with that selection, just like every other selection we've made in Photoshop, you can do, do with it whatever you like. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these pixels, we're going to copy them right on top of this other background. So I'm going to do Command-C, Command-V. For those of you on a PC, it's going to be Control-C, Control-V, which is copy and then paste. And you'll see that it's created another layer for us over here on our layer palette. If I turn that bottom layer off, you'll see that we now have those pixels copied onto their own layer. Now we can give it an, a layer effect. And at the bottom of your layer palette, you have this little icon that says FX. It says add layer style. You can click on there, but you can also just double click on your layer and it should open up your layer style window. Then in this window, you're going to choose some options here under bevel and emboss. And you'll see that uh, the different choices that I've made here in my last selection are going to determine what the shadows look like. So you'll see that I can adjust the size up and down to determine whether I want it to look like it's coming up and out or if I want it to look like it's being pressed in. So we can choose different options here, inner bevel, outer bevel. Uh, we'll change the size of the letters because it's shifting the effect inside and outside of those selected areas that you made. You can again change some of the other variations for your shading. The most important thing here is when you look at the shading angle that it's going to be the same because we're going to be using some other lighting techniques and you want to make sure that they're the same. That way it's consistent. So that's what's going to make some of these um, effects we're doing look believable is that the lighting is similar. So lighting and perspective are always very important here. So you'll see that I've created a concrete. If I wanted to go in here to my layer style and look at some other options, we could do that as well. We could do like a color overlay for instance. In this case uh, it's set to gray because that was the last time, last color we used. But if you change it to something else you'll see we get uh, a red on top of there uh, which may not necessarily be what you want to do. but That's an option here and we can change how intense that color is by changing our opacity. We can also change the blending mode. So if we change this to something like multiply, it's gonna become darker and you're gonna see some of that texture come through. Uh, but most importantly, we're looking at our, our bevel and emboss. And under there, you can change things like your contour and your texture, if you wanted to add texture to it, which we don't need to do at this point. Um, but for future videos, maybe we'll do something like that. So for the most part, I want you to go through here make sure you change some of your structure and your shading options. And that's what I have for you today for your type mask tool and your bevel and emboss.